Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. It is the Nerdy Quail and I hope everyone you had a wonderful holiday season and a great Christmas. Where we last left off we were going ahead and plugging away on the big hangar door system. Uh, I did do a little bit of work outside on it just to try a few things. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these or not but it is looking much, much better, and we're going to get that finished today, the whole rest of the doors. So to start off, I'm just going to go ahead and double check to see how much steel plate I have right now. And we have a couple hundred going. We're going to be waiting on that. So in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead, we're just going to get started by talking off all our resources and stuff. And to start that, we're going to go ahead, get a little bit of ice, just to work on slowly topping off our OT generators and hydrogen. So if all goes well, this might be my last episode with my laptop. I finally finished building my desktop computer I've been wanting to do for a little while. And it's pretty much done. Just need to put an operating system on it and a few other little maybe tweaks here and there. But everything seems to be running and everything seems to be running well. All right, full on hydrogen. And here that is just chugging away on that. You're chugging away here. Let's just see how much we actually got. We got a thousand. Now, as I said, uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these. However, I may add more timer blocks to get them to work better. Uh, they do work, but I'd rather do timing blocks with it, I think, and just to make everything a lot smoother, otherwise everything's working, as I said, we're just waiting for some of that iron to finish up, so in the meantime, what I am going to do is, I'm going to do one more run with this. Let's see how we're doing so far. Oh, We got a lot of iron being made, which is good. We're gonna head over to production. We're gonna add a few more thousand. And then we're gonna add tag on a little bit at the end just so that it um we have more after we build these. Alright. I think we got enough to at least work with what we got. I think we should be able to finish this door. Or get really, really, really close.
little bit of a bump right there. But there we go. We're hitting stuff. I'm not sure what we're hitting. Alright, looks like I hit a couple of things there because of the connector? Or just how things are working? I don't know. We'll repair all that. We're gonna hop out. And they're gonna fill that back in. Fill that back in. And we are gonna start here and we're gonna just start working on filling everything in. Um we've got a lot of a lot of iron we need to put down, a lot of steel plate. So let's grab some of that really quick. And I am going to work on filling in this section here. So we'll probably be back in a few. We'll work on that a little bit. Alrighty, so we just finished this little section here. Uh, I mean, we got a couple of open spots over here and over there. Um, but mainly what I wanted to do was fill out that. And I'll probably just use the rest of the steel plate I have to fill in over here. But just a quick status update on that, and we'll continue going our way. Alright, I just filled in about half of that for now. And yeah, I pretty much finished placing a couple hundred steel plate. And we're gonna start welding this all together. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start in this corner here just to finish that, so to speak. And then my main idea is to get the center line done. That way I could work on the uh, runway lights. That's what they're called. Runways. Alright, we got a nice little center line going here. Uh, it seems to be a different color than what I'm doing everything else, part of it at least, but oh well, that's fine. Um, I actually probably wanted it one more over, but you know what? That's fine. We're getting we're getting stuff done, and that's the main thing. All right, after that little excursion, Interesting. I don't know why that closed, but depressurize it. All right. So for good job done, getting the door done. Now I want to talk about some other things I'm thinking of doing. So I got this concourse here, and that's what I'm pretty much calling it at this point. This is the concourse. We can go up here if we need to. Uh, for this spot, and I don't know if I even need this here, but for now, we will. Um, I think we have enough room to do like any sort of modifications we need on that. But one thing I want to start doing is also start planning out stuff on that side and this door is completely locked right now so we're gonna go in here so 
we've getting a good chunk of like all the stuff that's actually needed on the station, right? So we've got you know an industrial area that's up and running. We've got air inside here. We've got a mostly working control deck. We've got this a little nice, awesome little button system here. Button. Yeah, I got that one too. And then, so, yeah, and we're starting to get this hangar section completed. Over here, I like to start doing some more, you know, fun, not quite needed areas, but let's say like a living quarters. Not completely needed, but it would be neat to build that in there and to be like, hey, this is a lived-in station and all that. I don't know, I thought that might be fun to do at some point. And I'm going to see how much our refinery is doing. I don't think we have anything left in there. Production-wise, we probably got a whole other slew of, yeah, like 2,000. Alright, so with that in mind, we are going to head back out here. Okay, now we got that done, that done. Mostly it's, main things we're going to do is we're going to make this flat. Um, and that's going to take a lot. So each one of these is about 25. So if we got one... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten by forty. Forty one. So we'll need at least four thousand five hundred to do half of this. About. So, you know what that means? Back to the old mining ship. Let's continue. All that being made or refined and what we're gonna do is we know we need like eight thousand steel plate we know we have a, a good chunk right now and what i'm going to do also is i'm just gonna snag some of it do some spot welding here and there, and possibly to start filling in a few more areas. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of miscoloring here. Let's head back over here. Let's get the center line going.
Alright, we got that filled in. That's good, that's good. And this is going to be probably extended out that way a bit. Same with over here. Um, I'm just gonna put in a couple cross beams here for now. Just to make, hey, we'll just get this section done, we'll get this section done, so on and so forth. I mean, we might be able to finish it, but we're going to start off with this. Couple of sections over here that can get done, and then mostly I just really want to get this all finished being welded first before we can actually think about uh, doing the rest of this. We could probably build that up, just thinking, and then. This is probably going to go a little higher too. This is, this is just that was just the frame of the door, and we'll go out to. I don't want to replicate another door on the back here. I think what we'll do is we'll have an airlock. Because I want this to be for, like, the big ship that we're going to be making. And what we'll do is we're going to have, I think, the airlock hanger door here. And an airlock hanger door here. To have the small ships, like the fighter. I don't know. We'll think about it. That's my current thought. And then over here will be living quarters, recreational area, and then we can expand it up and down and out if needed be. But in the meantime, it is looking much better. We'll go ahead and just see here. We're going to need to get this visual marker here. To line up. Alright. That's where we need to line up with this thing. Let's just do a nice little refill first. Okay, let's see. We are going to up here. So we got 3,000, which should be enough to fill our mining ship. We're still going strong on that, but how much ore do we have? Thinking before we head out, make some additional ore run. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have any. Alright, 
let's do that before we start mining. That way we have more being made. Alright, that gives us a little bit more iron, even though we did a bunch of stone. And then um, some dedicated iron as well, just to keep the furnace going. Alright. Ooh, you are heavy. Let's get your engine to rotate. Alright, we're gonna start on this line here. And we'll just move up from there. That way we can finish that center line on this. And if we finish the center line, that means we could work on the lights. So that completes the center line right there. I believe. Not, it's pretty close. Alright, we're going to head back over here. We're going to start clearing out that. We'll work on welding all that together. Still don't know if that's exactly what I need, but it's better. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna start by going here, <clears throat> and get all four of these. like a thousand left so let's see here we'll just get to work on this right here I think that's we're probably pretty close to being finished. We have about yeah, 22. Go ahead and dock and ting. Well, we'll see how much more we have ready. Got that charge. Looks like we've got another thousand ready in there. Productions. Empty. For now. Alright. It's just a flip flop. Using mining. Using the welder. Okay, now. Finish getting that done next. We'll work on just the rest of this essentially. I 
think there's not really most of the color should be fine I know I started a chunk of this before uh, selecting the lighter color. Alright, that should be good for painting. Alright, let's see. We put that type of wall there. Build that up. Maybe I should finish welding the edges so that in the meantime, while I'm waiting for stuff to build, I can actually work on the walls. That's after I finish getting this little area done first, we'll do that. Alright, next, I believe how many construction blocks do I have? I have seven. I'm gonna grab a few more. Mm, I don't think I actually had too many left. See this for a moment. Alright. And we'll do this. Grab all of them. And you too. So we will use these. I don't know if I want to do every single row for now, so we're going to skip one. Up, go, go, go. Alright, we're gonna look at construction components for now, but I got the center line done with lights, so we'll need a whole more slew of construction components to actually finish those. Like 50 of them or something like that. Could be enough to finish off and the row and then f may just build them essentially and have a few left over Okay. 
can't. Two, one, two. R. Now, time to do this. We don't need to be floating. I didn't need to be floating to get last. This. I could conserve a little bit by not having it run constantly. All right, there we go. Still deciding how I want to do them. I kind of like the idea of them blinking in that direction, but that might take a little bit of work might be pretty cool but for now at least we'll help with all the light that's in there right now all right now to all those that we just literally put in i don't know how many we did Uh, let's see. I didn't have any of those, so. Uh, it was concourse lights. For those. They're possibly... Twenty-five, ninety-three and twenty-five. All right. Twenty-three, twenty-five, twenty-three. Save. I will turn you all on. There we go. Nice, nice. Okay, we got those on. And that should definitely help a little bit with when the sun goes wacky on me. Alright, let's load you up. And... Dun -dun -dun -dun. Grab you. Go to the meeting cargo tank container. We got three thousand. And well done. And technically, I think we could. We've actually. Oh, I don't think I have it connected. But theoretically, we could get that too. But first things first, let's go pick up some more. Okay, we've got that filled up. Do what we can here. Especially getting that little block done there, and then we're going to start working on the edges.
Alright, nice, nice. We got that done. We're gonna try to make this as easy as possible. So we're gonna position the ship first. Might not be the most efficient on getting a bunch done at once, but the main thing is just to get them started. I guess to get the edges done at least so I can do more design work. Okay, that didn't work. Let me get a little closer. And about here, I assume we're gonna do one or two just to help out a little bit. Alright, now we need to. We'll do both of these right here. Again, that uh, asteroid a little close, but hopefully we can at some point just mine the whole thing. Now we have a full perimeter done. Makes it look a little nicer. But we're gonna need to just go ahead and fill it in at this point. We'll start on this side. Okay, well, that makes it a little bit easier. We're going to start by... And I think this is all going to get filled in here. And then we'll do something right there. figure out something for that whole area. Might as well just figure it out now, though. So... Blocks. We are going to need a... an armor block... armor... 
So let's get the slope in there. Inverted corner. Okay, so we do that. And then we do that. And then end it with that. Let's see how this works. Actually, we'll keep it like that. And that way we have a not flat at corner thing. I'm blanking on words, but um, so that way it's not just straight 90 degree to 90 degree. That works, and then the wall, and then that right there. Extra protected on the front, and I had no clue what to do with you. Let's fill you guys in. Here, still might actually replicate that, but we're going to put these here, because you come in through here. Take you guys out for now. And then do another two to there, maybe. Something like that. Alright. that off there. This idea that we're working for. And of course to try to make it not look like a giant rectangle at some point. 
Let's see here. Uh, let's start filling this thing up. And there's the cat. Get off the keyboard. Come here, boy. Here you are. You can see right there. Much better. Okay. Let's just work with that. what we're doing and no cat do not pounce on the mouse not that kind of mouse okay let's start here since we're right here This cat's making this very difficult to do. I know you want to play. Let's try to get to a four. Looks like we got missed those. Okay, fix them. Okay, that finishes off the chunk right there. that old line there. Um, Alright, let's go here.
know that one. Go. We got a bit more done. I know it's a lot of perimeter work, but that's pretty much what we're dealing with. All right, let's take a nice little survey of what's been done. I mean, we probably could make. Nope, not on the keyboard again, you. You're hitting buttons. Okay, let's see here. What did you do? There we are. Nope. Get off. Come here. Alright, I don't know if you guys are on my Facebook page, but yes, a little while ago I got another little kitten. And there's a picture of him with me playing Space Engineers. And he is very floofy, and he very, very, very much wants to be involved in the process right now. Don't you? Don't you? Alright. We can refer to him here as Field Marshal Von Floof. Alright. Uh, just taking a survey again. Uh, we've... I like cornering things off the sections. That way, I can, if I complete a section, it looks good. And we'll probably do some sections here, a section there. We'll probably put a section in the middle here, here. That way we would just get those done. It looks like things are getting done. So, main things, definitely, that we've gotten done today are that, yeah, it's just been a lot of work on this hangar. Um, mostly getting the floor done. Filling the floor is a nice big first step. Starting to pace out the walls a little bit. And then, of course, just a lot of mining. And a lot of a lot of mining and a lot of welding we did indeed finish the door and it looks awesome when it's fully engaged well this has been the nerdy quail i hope you've enjoyed this episode be sure to like and subscribe and be sure to check out my facebook page and to check out my twitch i did indeed stream a little bit of uh, the warhammer 40k rogue trader and i plan to be doing that more of that soon and take care and have a good one